Good morning, guys. It's Monday, 7.40. Johnny's heading that way, Jackson. Repipe time. All right, guys, Johnny's back. Yeah. I got here and had to take a massive shit. And she's in there trying to clean out the cabinets this morning. I put a, I put a stinker in the toilet and I can't flush it, man. Fuck. All right, guys, so... <coughs> <coughs> this is the deal we're gonna be going in and out of that door there that's our access to the attic which is great the Sun's coming up on this side of the house it's gonna go around the back I'm gonna set all battery malfunction anyways I'm gonna set up all our stuff right along this wall uh, got some ice some water a lot of bottled water Gatorade I've got my pipe here I decided to go with 10 foot lengths Time to get hot, Jackson. My boy, he's not gonna be here for 10, man. Just as that roof's starting to get really hot, man. That attic. But what are you gonna do? I need the help, man. Alright guys. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna designate hot and cold on these CPVC pipes, both ends. No confusion. I'm gonna do my half inch, uh, the drops that I need for the master. Just walking through the house. These are the, the shower, the tub, uh, the lavatory is gonna need to be three quarter. through the house uh, I need a drop hot drop for the kitchen I need uh, a three-quarter drop for the washing machine area that laundry tub quarter for the water heater. So I'm just going to take a hot, cold for the shower, a cold for the drop over in that bathroom. Hold for the kitchen. Hold for the ice maker drop. Hold for the laundry tub area uh, with the washing machine box. Uh, and then all my three quarter is going to this stuff just going to get swung up into the attic. And I'll give you a little tech tip if. You want to glue all your stuff together uh, at one time and just kind of push it across the attic. If you take this and you glue a 45 on it with a, with a little piece of pipe, it's very hard sometimes to push a straight pipe through the attic. And if you put a piece of pipe on it, you can rotate it and it'll ride up over any obstruction. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I don't need to do that on this job. I'm going to have Sean down, downstairs. I'm going to stack this stuff up. 
at the access. I'm going to get my bag together. Sean's got most of the fittings coming with him. Whoa. So we're going to crank the air down. I got to find a thermostat. Yeah. Cool setting, 77. That's not going to work, man. 70 degrees y'all that's the way it is so I'm gonna need to pull this hey they left and have water boiling just to make it a little hotter in here okay so we got a lot of mess here I'm gonna wait for Sean and then we're just gonna push push this whole this washing machine out uh, I've got a drop coming down this wall here for the uh, kitchen I'm gonna run through behind the dishwasher I've got a drop uh, coming down this back wall for the whoa 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 whoa, whoa. It's coming down this back wall for the ice maker I've got hot and cold. I'm gonna, oh, it's a pocket door. That's an issue. Uh, obviously, you can't come down the wall for a pot on a pocket door. We're gonna cut these pipes out and I'm gonna try to get right here in this wall behind this water heater. Uh, it's a very tight area with this cabinet. <clears throat> Over here. We're going to catch this bathroom. Uh, I'm going to just drill two holes from the other side into this cabinet for the hot and cold. I'm going to pop out of the side of this uh, cabinet for the cold, for the water heat, I mean for the toilet. We need to get these plates off on the shower and the tub and shower. And we're going to make our connections to those valves with our drops. Uh, this cabinet, it's got double labs, and the best place for me to come in is right here in the middle. It's drywall. The cab, there's no back to the cabinet, which is great. Uh, once again, we're going to catch this toilet coming out of the side of this cabinet. Put a 20-inch put a supply hose on it, and then pick up this tub and shower here. Uh, we'll see what we got for an access it's probably in the back of a closet nope this must be a very deep closet but we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna catch this yeah they got a ton of shit we're gonna catch it through the face plate with some male adapters new male adapters in those valves so let me go get my stuff and get these trims off just to make sure that we're all on the same page, y'all. All right, guys, so I need to pull this. I 
like my knife, but I don't have it with me. Now we gotta save all of this trim. Put it back on, Jackson. I'm feeling pretty good, man, about... It's actually a cool day. They're calling for rain, which is great. We're inside the house. I got the air on fucking Sub-Zero. Yeah, yeah. I may throw a new trim on this. Uh, trim plate. Make it look good. Check this sh uh, spout. I'll probably throw a new spout on this thing too. Diverter. Even though we ain't got money, I'm so in love with you, honey. Everything will bring a change of love. Even though when I die, bring a tear of joy to your eye until. Everything is gonna be alright. Fucking straight slotted screws. You know this shit, old oh boys. So these people are gone. I hope they stay gone all day. I like to be able to beat myself, swear, cuss, tell you what I'm thinking. Some guy, some guy uh, commented last night. Integral stop. See that, boys? Unscrew them. Put your adapters right in there. Money. That's what I wanted to see. Let's go get the other one undone. That's experience talking right there, boys. They used to be required integral stops. So I'm trying to uh, set the path for Sean uh, so he can just get here and start tying shit together. I'll make my drops and we're gonna work our way towards the other side of the house. Uh, that's the plan anyways.
Mardell, I turned that stove off. The, the water was boil, was starting to boil. Oh, I put some water on to do dishes. I'm sorry. Ah, yes, thank you. Um, you know, you guys, you don't need to be here. Okay. If you want to take off and, and relax and not worry about what's going on, we'll take it from here. Okay. It actually would probably work better for us. Right. To... Well. I have to do uh, aerobics class at 10, so I'm going to be out of here. Okay. And, um, yeah. I might just uh, hang out at the clubhouse or do something else. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for shutting my water off. No that. problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the pipe on the bottom first out of the way. Just got hit in the head with the goddamn handheld shower. I'm taking that off. Grips up here. Easier than uh
shop tools is the key. scenario I got two brand new valve bodies I could put in here so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this is what I'm getting at So I got my access for the water heater. That shower head just fell off. That's cool. I got the stuff for that. Yeah, I got it. I got the tool to get it out. We got our access for um, the ice maker. these uh, male adapters in. Just a couple of street 90s in each one. We're good. Same thing on the other side. He's already done there. I just need to get him his drops. It is a back-to-back -back job here. So he's got an access here. And he's got his holes drilled on the other side uh, for the water, for the lavatory. And then he's popping through the cabinet. He's got his hole down there for the cabinet. We're doing good. We're in good shape. I need to get him some drops at this point. It's probably a All right, guys. Johnny Sunshine here up in the attic. We're getting our first drops in. Sean's hooking them up right now to the tub and shower valve. I'm gonna put my Mickey Mouse straps on there.
man, it's not too bad up here, guys. Once I made my way over here, uh, it really isn't too bad. So, gotta get my fan. <coughs> Blowing some hot air on me. Sean, tell me when you're ready for me to screw these in. I'd already done. I mean the hot. <clears throat> so there's definitely no fire blocking <coughs> up here. So it's just a matter of drilling through the through the whole. I mean top plate and. Uh, Singing on the on the walkies, on the walkie matokies. <sighs> Think he's ready on the hot. Talk to me on the radio. Sean, if you can, talk to me on the radio because I really can't hear you with the fan and everything going on up here. You good, Sean? Good. Is your walkie-talkie not working? Yeah, something's not up. Not right. We're on channel one. One. It's on one. Copy. Oh, okay. Hang on. I thought that was the volume, brother. Eight. Eight. Five, two, three. I'm on three. 
I'm on three, Sean. All right, I got you now. Um, Sorry about that. I thought that was the volume, man. <laughs> it's all good. We're all glued up down here. All right, beautiful. That's some hard ass fucking wood, Jack. <clears throat> That's some hard shit, man. Sean, right. put that light in on that other shower. fuck it is. So I just need to get over here to the other side and uh, drill a hole and put some pipes in there. Yeah. Probably gonna be the toughest one <coughs> because it's so far back. <coughs> Alright, guys, I gotta get in that partition. Alright guys, Johnny Sunshine here, I just came out of the attic, the GoPro is not working, it, uh, I'm going to have to jump over to this phone, uh, which is fine, just GoPro's a bitch man, they get hot and they shut down, it's just a real pain, but it's hot up there, I spent about two hours in the attic. I'm out for about a half hour now, but I got the far side of the house done. I'll get some pictures of that, and then I'm moving down. Next next, uh, next spot is the ice maker, uh, then the kitchen and water heater. And Sean, he's got the showers done already. Uh, he's got one bathroom tied together, toilets hooked up. He's just got to do the other bath. Uh, pipes are already in there double labs and a toilet and uh, he'll be heading towards that um, ice maker box within an hour uh, I think we'll get this done today without an issue uh, it should be pretty not simple it's not easy man and that's why you get paid what you get paid to do it especially in the middle of the summer probably should add a couple grand on it for you know late late July August and September my fucking nose looks like I got punched by Mike Tyson. <laughs> Anyways, it's all good, man. I can tell you I'm a little rusty up in the attic. I would say it's probably been 15 years, man, since I've been in an attic like that. Doing, you know, if anything, I was down on the ground on repipes that I did. Because I'm a seasoned veteran. You know the newbies got to go up in the attic, Jack. But I'm um, taking a break, 
drinking some Gatorades, lots of water, and uh, the, the workhorse is doing its job, man. Doing its job. Let me show you what those valves look like. They came out good. They're nice and easy. I mean, it wasn't easy getting those integral stops out, but uh, we got her. We got her done. We got her done. See that, guys? I don't know if you can see that. I just took the integral stops out. Put male adapters in there, street 90s right into the valve, the, the original valve stays in there. Uh, we did the same thing actually in the other one, I put a new valve body because I broke the joint. Let me scoop by here, Shani. And plumbing's killing this kid, he's only got gray hair. Sure. The silver fox. <laughs> Hey guys, Johnny Sunshine here. Uh, it's been tough, guys. I can tell you that, man. That attic's got to be 140 degrees. Uh, it's pretty hot today. I thought it was going to rain. Uh, it didn't. Uh, so it's pretty hot. It's 5 o'clock now, man. We probably have... We just need to do the water service, basically, coming in. But... You know, test everything out, put the new trims on the showers. Uh, but we're all done. Everything's looking nice so far. Uh, we got a new washer box. I need to put a uh, a panel on that. And, oops, I'm sorry. We're going to put an access panel on that. We uh, put a new ice maker box in. New shut off on the water. This is just tight. There's so much in this wall, power and switches and nowhere to run the pipes. Uh, it was very, very tight. It took a lot of uh, skill to do this job. And uh, I feel like we're in good shape, man. We did a good... We just need to uh, finish this kitchen right here and uh, put the dishwasher back in. And uh, Shani, how you feeling, man? I'm good. He hasn't eaten today, man. No delicioso for no. for Shawnee today. He's getting a little cranky. Feeling like a hostage. He's feeling like a hostage. <laughs> Sean's hilarious, man. He's got a great sense of humor, man, and uh, always enjoy working with him. But uh, I hear that thunder out there, Jackson couple minutes of that and that roof's gonna that roof's gonna stop putting heat in here all right bro. hey guys Johnny Sunshine here uh it's what time is it 9 30 9 45 guys way too much work for two guys especially with one guy with his you know one foot in the grave and the other on a banana peel <laughs> But uh, it's just too hot up there, man. I got to the point where I had to keep coming out of the attic. We couldn't get it, but I got all of this stuff done. The only thing I have to do is put two drops in uh, to pick up the kitchen and the laundry room. Sean's like, I took him hostage. Peace. <laughs> He's a man of few words. I told him about your... When you first started work for me, man, you worked for me for six weeks and never said a peep until you ate that sandwich. It was a good sandwich. Delicioso. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? This guy talks, man. Son of a bitch. Yeah, guys, this, uh, I, I tried to get some video. I'll get a finished product video, but it's just too much, man. We started at 10 o'clock. By 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock, it was just way too hot up in that attic. Had to be 140 degrees or more, and uh, finally rained, but it was like six o'clock, so or five o'clock. Johnny's old, man. 
This is a three, four man job. We would have finished this in no time plus. First time we did this model and there's a learning curve when it comes to these houses. You really bang them out if you, you know, have done them in the past and uh, you get a system going, you know exactly what you're gonna do. We were trying to feel this thing out with the way the house was built. We had to go to plan B on the because of the roof line that I didn't catch when I looked at it initially I thought that whole back room was a the the trusses went out there I thought all I had to do was climb over a uh, a vent I mean a um, an air conditioning vent and uh, not the case man that's the end of the house so it was gonna be tough but we got her we got her done a couple hours tomorrow I'll finish this thing up man no sweat Sean, you want to... That's it. That's all he does. Psh, he makes noise. He just... You walk by him and, he, and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy, man? He don't talk. He just makes weird noises. Hey, guys. I can never find this camera, man. I'm looking over here. I look over here. It just won't, it won't look at me, man. Son of a bitch. Anyways, hey guys, Johnny Sunshine, it's Monday, it's about 10 past 10. Uh, just got home, man. Took a shower, cleaned up, then <clears throat> took off all my soaking wet clothes. It did rain, but I was soaked already, so it didn't matter. But there was lightning everywhere today, man. It was pretty bad out there. Uh, Johnny ain't no youngin' anymore, man. My feet are curled over from standing on trusses all day. Uh, there's a lot of room for improvement. Um, it's been a long time. Usually I have boards that I bring with me up in the attic. And when I used to do repipes, I had five, six guys with me, man. So nobody was getting killed. You know, you just go in there, one guy puts one bathroom together, the other guy puts another one together, laundry room and the kitchen. But uh, it beat me up pretty bad, man. I was cramping up my triceps, my biceps, uh, my, my oblique muscles. The back of my legs, man. My hamstrings cramping up. Mm! I started this day at about 7 o'clock, man. And didn't get home till 10. That's a pretty long day. 15 hours for an old guy. But the water's on in the house. We just got to get two more drops in. And it got dark, man. Uh, at that point, it was, you know, something's going to... Bad's going to happen. We're all tired. Me and Sean, we're both tired, hungry. Uh, the heat kills you. So we did the best we can. Uh, but for two guys, basically 12 hours we were there or 11 hours when he, because I didn't really do much till he got there at, at uh, 10 o'clock. But we ran out of 90s, three-quarter 90s, so we were having to get creative with the fittings, couplings, and street 90s. Um, and I was up in the attic, and it was just... <clears throat> My little system that I had with the bag didn't work at all, man. You need a toolbox. It needs to be organized. I spent half the day digging through a pile of shit up there in this fucking 140 uh degree temperature in the attic but the woman is very very um pleased we left her house very clean you probably some of you saw that gaping hole where the washing machine is <clears throat> unfortunately you can't buy an old style washer box i don't think anymore at least i haven't seen them they don't sell them at my supply house uh, they don't sell them at Home Depot that are the same size as those old watertight deals. Uh, so I used what I had. I'm just going to put an access panel around it make it look neat. 
Uh, that's what I ha I did on the ice maker box. Uh, it all looks great, and they've got good pressure. And uh, so I'm just we're just gonna go tomorrow, spend a couple hours, and really tighten it up. Um, you know, call it in for an inspection on Wednesday, and uh, go from there, man. Go from there. Better have some vacuum breakers on that shit. And <clears throat> basically, they want to see a new washer box, an ice maker box, and uh, vacuum breakers on the hose bibs. The rest of it, you know, it's just plumbing connections, man. But it's over. I'll get a wrap up tomorrow. Uh, Johnny's beat, man. The arches of my feet are killing me, man. They're just killing me. Uh, you know, you know, you're getting old, man. When Tylenol, extra strength Tylenol, is on your list of fucking material to bring to the job. Just not good. Anyways, guys, sorry I wasn't able to get you a video today. It'll be up tomorrow, and me and Sean, we're both taking the whole fucking week off, Jackson. We made enough money. Who the fuck wants to work like this in the summertime? Johnny's back on vacation, guys. See ya. Good morning. It's Johnny Sunshine. Guys, Johnny feels... Like he was rode motherfucking hard and put away wet. It's Tuesday morning. Probably didn't get to sleep until 2 o'clock. Then I saw it 3 o'clock and then 4 o'clock. Uh, my body, man, did not take this repipe well. I was cramped up. My legs, my back. I took... I think I OD'd on magnesium. I ate three fucking bananas. Uh, yeah, man. It is brutal down here, man. Brutal is an understatement. But I will tell you, man, that the CPVC, I was just thinking, the CPVC is not the way to go. Uh, it's going to be a combination of CPVC and PEX. I would have done that attic in no time. You know, you just... Yep. Yeah, uh, hindsight's always 20, 20. Uh But PEX would have been the way to go, man. Combination of uh, rolls of PEX, straight pe PEX. Uh, red and blue, if they still make it, um, 20 foot lengths, bing, bang, boom, down the road, Jack, put a mana block or whatever that, whatever they call them, the manifolds down at the other end of the house, take some measurements, get your pipes, a uh, couple of, you know, up in the attic, I would have had one, two, three, four, five, six. Put together six, uh, <clears throat> six pipes on two manifolds and, uh, no joints, no, you know, you got to strap it. Obviously you don't want that shit bouncing around, but yeah, next time it's going to be a combination of pecs, uh, and CPVC. I like the way CPVC looks. It looks like copper. Uh, it's nice and straight, but yeah, we could still do CPVC. I don't know. Maybe maybe do PEX in the cabinets. I just think PEX looks like shit, but up in an attic situation, it's the way to go. Yeah, I learned a lot yesterday, man. Things have changed. The weather's fucking... I've never been in an attic so hot in my life. It felt like there was a blowtorch on my back, man. And my body... Thank God my body responded. I was kept sweating. I was very conscious of uh, heat stress, heat stroke, uh, heat exhaustion. 
when your body stops sweating, you're in trouble, man. So I was taking breaks. I went a long time. I probably should have shouldn't have been up there for two hours first thing. And the key is starting early before that sun gets up and starts baking that roof, man. Next time it'll be Pex. Next time I'll know exactly where I need to drill my holes, which it wasn't bad down there. They had soffits in every bathroom with no f fire blocking. So all you had to do is put a f flashlight. You got to know about where the walls are. You have to be able to figure that out. But uh, put a flashlight in there. <clears throat> find the light, look down the wall, because there was an opening, you could look right down to the fixture, uh, drill your holes, and sling the pipe, man, I'm a, I'm a slinger now, I'm convinced PEX is the way to go, it's a little more expensive, but I went through so many fittings, man, uh, CPVC fittings, and it's just fucking time consuming, I can make Pecs look nice, man, you know, by taking the right route and keeping it straight. So this one's going to be in the bag by 10 o'clock. I mean, uh, by noontime today, we'll have this lady's very happy. I got a list of stuff I have to pick up. Uh, <clears throat> pretty happy with the job. I'm not happy that it took us so fucking long to do it. Uh, but it was a challenge, man. Repiping houses, you're doing shit backwards. You got the fucking cart before the horse on a repipe, you know? It's like building a house backwards. Oh, let's go ahead and finish it, you know, put the carpet in, all this stuff. Let's just throw some furniture in there, too, you know? And, um, tons of fucking shit that they brought down from Indiana that they'll never fucking use. I gotta tell you, man, I don't know if you guys have ever run into a fucking washing machine that weighs like a half a ton. Jesus Christ, man. The fucking washing machine in this house, I could barely move it, man. Barely fucking move it. Just fucking ridiculous. I think they put a fucking 400 pound fucking weight in the bottom of it. Just to make you think you're getting something good for your money, you know? But my eyes are bad. One of my subscribers sent me this thing. And I put it on. And it really... I put, throw it in the freezer. It's cold. And uh, it really does make my eyes feel better. But I'm feeling... Road hard and put away fucking wet this morning, Jackson. Johnny boy. Ain't no youngin', but I'll tell you what, I'm ready to go out for the next round. I'm not ready to throw in that fucking towel, Jackson. Johnny's gonna have some fight in him today. Gonna get this job done. It's all good, man. This this job is a blessing for me, man. I did a lot of uh I'll be honest with you, man. Did a lot of praying yesterday, like thanking God for this opportunity, even though it was tough, like running through a briar patch, but we stayed the course. Tenacity. <clears throat> tenacity is the word of the day. I've always had a lot of tenacity. It served me well in my life, and uh, don't try this at home, motherfuckers. That's all I can tell you. That's all I can tell you. Yeah, so so Pex, Pex would have been so fucking simple, but you can't. You know, it's tough to. I repipe one house in Pex, man. I've got Pex guns. I've got Pex fucking. Pipe and f I mean no pipe. I gave I sold that to my nephew when I got rid of a lot of shit when I closed my shop. Uh, but I've got all the shit. I've got a big box full of PEX fittings. But the manifolds are the way to go. Uh, Upanor, 
I'll show you what I got here. You got my motherfucking certificate, Jackson. Where are you? Daddy Sunshine, you got my motherfucking open or certificate, Jackson. John ain't no fucking play, man. John Phillips, yeah. You better get yourself one of them if you don't have one. Because if you get a problem, if you have a problem putting in shit you ain't been trained on, the best thing that happened today already was the fact that there ain't no call. Uh, <laughs> so we pressure tested this thing last night after we, we uh, finished. You know, we turned the water on, got it up to pressure, ran everything. Uh, the water definitely stopped when I opened the valve and filled it up slowly. We tested the cold first and then the hot. Uh, but once we did that, I tell Sean, I'm like, hey man, we need to test, we need to put a gauge on this place and make sure nothing's dropping, you know? So he, he fucks around and it's dark out, man. And these fucking gauges, I don't know why they can't make a goddamn gasket that, f a fucking washer that stays in the son of a bitch. Every time I need to pressure test the house, I'm searching for a fucking washer. Just a. So we're fucking. We finally get a gauge on this house. And Sean comes to me and he says, It's all good, man. It's, you know, it's still the same. So I go out to for me to eyeball it. And I look. And the valve's on. The valve is still on. The, the main shutoff valve into the fucking house. I'm like, come on, man. Turn the valve off. What the fuck? No wonder why it's still the same. Anyways, we turn the valve off. Put it under test for about 10 minutes and it didn't drop at all, man. So I'm confident we're good. I didn't get a phone call from the lady. Uh, that was that was a great thing this morning to see that she didn't call me in, in the middle of the fucking night with a goddamn disaster. Uh... <clears throat> Johnny needs to go back to the drawing board on this, man. It's no big deal. You've got to constantly assess how you're doing shit and uh, make adjustments, man. Yeah, I did a repipe 15 years ago. Uh, I mean, we did lots of them. And uh, it was all CPVC, but the PEX, I'm sold on that shit now. Just like everybody else, who gives a fuck what it looks like up there? I mean, who cares what it even looks like on new construction anymore? It's fucking horrible. It really is, man. Anyways. So Johnny's got to get back at it. I got to be over there by 10 o'clock. It looks a little overcast today, which is really going to help us. Uh, we just have two drops to put in. Fire, everything's done. We got two T's pointing up into the... Up the petition... I got to drill two holes, making sure we cover those T's uh, so no debris gets in there. Uh, and then just finish it up, clean everything, go in there with a, rag, a clean set of rags and some cleaning material, wipe everything down. I got to put a new trim on one of the showers, uh, put a new valve in one, you know, it's all good, man. We got her water on. The poor lady can flush the toilet. Uh, but I got to tell you guys, I got there. When I got there, I had to fucking shit. Like, I was going to shit my pants, man. Johnny farts a lot. Johnny shitty shorts. Yeah. Made an appearance. So she's in the middle of cleaning. I could hear her cleaning in the master. Johnny's ready to have a fucking projectile shit. And uh, 
So I jump in the guest bath, fucking dump a big ass, just fucking. <laughs> I mean, embarrassing. And funk it too, because I was eating that chorizo fucking hat. Chorizo spaghetti, man. Oh. Then I get up, man. I turn around, try to flush the toilet. No water. No fucking water. The water's turned off on the house. I was like, what the fuck, man? It's tough out here. So anyways, that shit was fermenting in the toilet all fucking day. Till like 7, 8 o'clock at night when we turned the water on. Not good. But I will say, man, we turned that water on. There were no issues. Nothing leaking. Hot. Everything that's supposed to be cold was cold. Uh, everything that was supposed to be hot was hot. Uh, we had a couple of mishaps. Not mishaps, but shit you run into. One of the shower arms uh, broke off. We had to get that out with an easy out and put a new head arm and flange in. Uh, no big deal. Um, it's about it, man. Really, for well, in the in that rough body, I had to pull out. That wasn't planned, but I don't know what the fuck they put them integral stops in with. But Jesus, man, they had them things buried in them valves, Jackson. I had to heat them up and pull them out. Uh, so we'll get a recap. I'll give you a shot of everything. Uh, I will give a shout out to my man, and honestly, I can't think of the name of his channel. He's a YouTube subs uh, he's a YouTuber. He's got his own channel. He and his wife and his son, uh, great people. I'll figure out their name, but he recommended these Diablo uh, drill bits. Um, worked great, man. It's kind of a self feeder spade bit. And uh, they work great. Um, yeah, everything's good, man. Everything's good. Johnny needs to just... I need to go to Home Depot and load up because I stripped my truck, man. Took a lot of shit off my truck, which is good, you know. I need to rotate that shit, you know. Got to get it off there and put, put the new stuff on your truck. Anyways, guys, I'm going to finish my coffee. Try to get my eyes open. They feel like an old fucking dirt road, man. And I feel, I don't feel too crampy this morning. My legs are a real issue, man. Always have been. I've always had issues with muscle cramps in my legs uh, my whole life. And nothing has fucking changed, so... Let's get her done, boys. We'll see you out there. Hey, guys. Johnny Sunshine back in the fucking war wagon. We got into a heated battle yesterday, but we, we survived. Hamburger fucking hell, baby. Uh, I just talked to my salesman. Not a big fan. He friends like him, who the fuck needs enemies, really? To be honest with you. Uh, the only good thing is, uh, there's a there's a business down here. I think Ferguson bought Hydro Logic, and uh, Ferguson has plans to break ground on a plumbing supply house right next door to Gorman's. So. Let the fucking competition begin. Uh, prices should come down. Um, so anyways, I'm heading. I just reloaded all the shit I took off my truck yesterday. Another 300 bucks in material. But uh, it's all good. And I told my salesman, I said, hey, I need a, I need a full price schedule for what my costs are for uh, packs. <clears throat> I just, I'm running this through my head, and the pecs would have been so much easier, man. Johnny's got to get with the times, Jackson. Did you hear that? Wow. Did you see that? That's a fucking Lambo with fucking shot 
It sounds like gunshots and a five foot flame shooting out of each exhaust pipe. Crazy up in here, man. It's crazy, y'all. Motherfucking everybody, you know, we live in a world where you hear that, you fucking drop to the ground, man. Especially in Florida. Every disgruntled motherfucker in the world has a fucking gun ready to exact revenge on the whole fucking world. Even their savior, you know. Trump. Have a great day. Let's go get her, man. Let's go get her. Johnny's ready to go. Hey guys, I was just thinking, you know, I need to give uh, Donald Trump a call. Tell him I'm a big fan. I'm getting old. Plumbing's getting hotter and hotter. And uh, if he could just send me maybe. 10 or 20 Adderall. Uh, he's got my vote. Yeah! Food for thought. I just saw a nice t-shirt. It said, a convict versus a prosecutor. <laughs> yeah, baby. God bless America. Hey guys, Johnny Sunshine here. <clears throat> I'm all done on this repipe. It put a beat down on me. Uh, it's we finished there at about one o'clock, one thirty. Started at ten, so it took another three hours. Uh, the last two drops were real bare. There were a lot of plugs in the uh, outlets and switches in a very small wall. It was a challenge getting all that shit in there. Uh, but we got her done. Everything's on. Pressure tested. And we're all good, man. Unfortunately, I'm out of gas, man. I had to, like, nix the camera work man it takes a lot of effort uh to put a put a video together i hope uh you know what you've seen there's a lot of stuff i'm gonna do a post-mortem on that repipe i'm gonna tell you the things that we could have done better i always walk through a job and look at it and i critique myself i say what could we have done better uh what is a better outcome and uh, easier. Uh, you want to get to that sweet spot when you're doing work like this. You want to be doing everything, you know, efficiently, fast, uh, especially in this heat. I mean, just look at my face, man. I'm fucking, I'm flushed, man. I, I'm all flushed. My face is red. My fucking nose hurts from rubbing it right here and over here, too. It was tough last night. It's going to be tough today, but I think I might take the rest of the motherfucking week off, Jackson. We're paid. The homeowner's happy. And uh, I did it for a little less than her highest bid. And she said, well, maybe you should have charged me what he charged me. And I was like, okay, give me some more money. No, I'm kidding. I said, no, what you paid me is... is uh, more than enough. We just went at it the wrong way, man. That's why it took so long. It took a long time. People, Shawnee was getting short. Temper-wise, me too. Uh, tough, you know, I remember, I remember an old news, uh, thing when they were they were videotaping some some interview and some guy in New York City and he said you know temperatures be flaring in the summertime and yeah the temperatures were flaring by the end of this job uh, we were not having fun anymore and we were not you could just you could cut the tension with a knife Jack and it ain't good I told Sean I said you know the object is to 
control your emotions because you've got an audience here, you know, the homeowners. And they're going to talk to their neighbors. They're going to say, yeah, you know, they seem to have gone off the rails or they did a great job. They kept my place clean, uh, had great attitudes. Uh, so it's all, you know, it's all part of it, man. And like I said, you gotta you gotta thread the needle. You gotta hit the sweet spot, or at least strive to do that. Look at yourself, uh, and make some corrections, man. To uh, you know, you can't have a bad attitude because who the fuck else is gonna do it? You're the one who told him you'd do it. So, anyways, that's it for Johnny Sunshine. Me. Have a great day, man. It's Tuesday, and Johnny is home at 155. Look at that, man. 10 to 2 coming. Yeah. All right, man. Have a great day, guys. I'll put a video together for you, hopefully, if I don't just fall asleep. <laughs>